because it is my belief that in order to be a profitable market participant over time, you have to be able to look at the big picture. And uh, that does mean you have to look at macroeconomic stuff. That means you have to look at different asset classes. And that's not to make it complicated. It's actually very straightforward if you know where to look. But because of that, I want to take a, a couple of minutes today and, and look at the price of oil, which is doing something really interesting. So um, the price of oil you can, can be looked at in different ways, but it's still, you know, even though over time it's becoming, becoming less important for the economy as we move to different fuels, it still is very important. So I'm not so to be clear about that. Um, but um, I wanted to show you what happened to that supply disruption a couple of weeks ago and how markets have reacted and what that may be telling us about the global economy in terms of its strength. So um, let's have a look at this real quick together. Um, by the way, before we look at this chart, this is sort of a, an FYI, but there's an ETF called MJ. MJ. It's a marijuana ETF. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically breaking to all-time lows. I just uh, thought I would uh, point that out. I actually think ultimately there's a buying opportunity here, but just so you guys know. Totally unrelated to what I was going to talk about, but I just noticed that, so there you go. Let's have a look at uh, oil. And um, really what we're going to see here is I think some eye-opening stuff in terms of you know how to look at this through the lens of a longer-term chart. So what we have here is the breakout attempt after those uh, Saudi um, oil fields were attacked in, um, I guess it was, what was it, mid-September, middle of the month it was. On the, I want to give you the exact date. I guess it was the 13th of September. And uh, obviously a big spike in oil and, and a lot of people said, oh, it's a breakout. Um, to our clients internally, we, we said very clearly, listen, it doesn't look like it from a fundamental perspective. And sure enough, they opened up the supply, uh, back, uh, brought back supply uh, very quickly on, on, on online, and, 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 and the entire move has since mean reverted. So you can see we have a breakout fake out. But this is where things get really important. And I think this is one of those things that really separate the, the professional community from from what I call chart chasing community. And that's not, not to make fun of anyone. It's just that when I see people just glance at their you know, five minute charts or, or, or five day charts, it doesn't give you perspective necessary in the bigger sense. You may still be able to trade in those time frames if that's what you wanna do, um, but the perspective needed, you're not gonna gain on such a short term chart. So let me show you the way that I'm looking at this. It doesn't make it right, just it's one way of looking at it. and. Um, Here's a monthly chart, and this is what this looks like on a monthly basis. So if we now zoom in a little bit closer, on this is the same exact chart I just showed you, except now we're looking at monthly increments, and you can see how I really have to zoom in to actually get to this. And what you'll see is we had a major, major breakout fake out attempt above. This is the same chart I just showed you, now we're just looking at it on the monthly chart. So you can see, there is something going on up there, which is to say there's a lack of demand to buy oil up there. So in other words, the question is, what does this mean about the global economy? Does this really speak to massive strength in the global economy? Um, personally, I don't think it does. And so that's one of the things I wanted to point out today. And because um, I think it is important to put things in context. And if we go back to the daily chart, now I have to reconfigure all this again. Again, this is where we were. Before, so if oil can't get it, can't get a bit. Even uh, even though we understand there was a supply being brought uh, back on, uh, if there was, if we were in such an amazing global econ economic environment, then um, we probably would have seen oil sustain a bit. So, for what it's worth, I hope this makes sense. October is going to be, I think, a very very important month for the markets, for the global economy to see. It's kind of it's kind of a show me month. So many data points. I mean, there's more, more potential, you know, uh, minefields out there that we can shake a stick at. It doesn't mean that things have to fall apart, but I do think a volatility spike is probably in order, and we'll keep you guys updated on that over the next few weeks. Take care and give us a thumbs up, like.